He's accused of deliberately trying to kill a CHP officer. And tonight, we're hearing from his family for the very first time. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Adrienne Moore. Austin Scott faces a number of charges in the hit and run crash that injured Officer Michael Erickson. Now, Officer Erickson is in critical but stable condition tonight at UC Davis Medical Center, recovering from what could be the first of many surgeries to come. New tonight, CBS 13's Sharin Roger is at the Sacramento County Jail with what the Scott family is saying about this incident. Austin Scott remains at county jail, facing nine felony charges, including evading police and assault with a deadly weapon. But tonight, his younger brother is not coming to his defense. He says that he's had a rocky past, and he's certain that he was under the influence at the time. I'm pretty shocked. Dylan Scott is one disappointed younger brother. Troubled kid, had a lot of rocky past, but I never thought he would go to do like this extreme and do something this like intense. Dylan and his family live in Reno, Nevada, where he says this whole incident began. He stole my mom's truck originally, the blue one. In that blue truck, 28-year-old Austin Scott allegedly ran over 17-year CHP veteran Michael Erickson as he was on duty on westbound I-80 Thursday afternoon. And then according to investigators, Scott drove off. This was not an accident. Rather, Officer Erickson was a victim of an assault by a motor vehicle. Scott then allegedly stole another truck that was left unattended at a construction site. But this is not Austin Scott's first time behind bars. He's been arrested multiple times in Nevada. These are mugshots from four separate arrests, three times in Reno, one in Sparks, and one of the charges for possession of marijuana. His brother says Scott has had a drug problem for years that included meth and heroin. And when asked if he thought his older brother was under the influence at the time of this hit and run. Without a doubt. CHP says that Scott displayed symptoms of drug intoxication at the time of the arrest, but his brother's certainty doesn't come without pain for Dylan and his mom, who were now concerned for the well-being of Michael Erickson and his family. From me and the rest of my family, we're intensely sorry. He did not deserve that. It sorry for the actions of my brother. The last time Dylan saw his brother was a month ago, and he's not sure whether he'll ever see him again outside of prison walls. He'll be in a place where he can't hurt anybody, and he'll hopefully get the help he really does need. Now, Scott was arrested in Fairfield and booked at the county jail without bail. He is expected in court on Monday. Meanwhile, Michael Erickson remains at UC Davis Medical Center in critical but stable condition.